apartment Grab my paper, got my pen, that's how it got started Writing lyrics from my spirit, hope these people hear it It's us against the world, and I'ma never fear it Say what I say, cause I'm speaking what I'm feeling I spit it for the dreamers, I spit it for the children I spit it thousand Yo, what's happening everybody, this is Hitman and right now I have a tutorial for you guys on how to get a, the best possible settings for a Hava Platinum HD capture card. So what you're going to want to do is open up the Hava player right here and go to player settings. These are pretty basic settings, so component obviously, NTSC obviously, PC hard drive if you want to, if you have a Hava Platinum you're going to want PC hard drive. Um, best possible quality, best possible quality. Uh, if your quality deteriorates over time, you can reboot it so it gets better. And export best quality. So I want to do that. Now we're going to go to Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is where the settings are really important. So I'm just going to bring in a clip here. My hopper recordings, here's a day, sure this one. Just a game battles match that I had. So I'm gonna want to drag it down here. Let it finish building the peaks, it might take a minute. Actually, while you're waiting, just go on ahead, go to File, Properties. Now you're going to want to copy this down. This is what you're going to want to have. 1280 by 720. Pixel aspect ratio 1. Frame rate, you're going to want 29.97, which is NTSC. Pixel format 8. Quality best. And if you want, you can start all projects so you don't have, always have to change this. Just going to hit apply and then hit OK. So now it's done rendering the uh, building the peaks. So what you're going to want to do is right click the clip, go to properties, and you're going to want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and then go to disable or sample. Now you're going to want to hit this thing right here event pen prop. Now you're going to hit the arrow key up a few times so it gets centered. Now you're going to drag in the corner. So as you can see what I just did, now there's no black border or anything, so that disappeared. Now you can change this to a setting if you want. I already have it saved as Hava, as a preset, so I, so I can just hit the preset instead of trying to center it all the time. So after you do that, you're just going to want to, you can change the colors if you want to fix them, because Studio RGB and Computer RGB are different, so open up Brightness Contrast, double click it, OK. And just choose a preset. If you want, like, oh shit, sorry, I did not mean uh, brightness contrast, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me. Um, yeah, so open up color corrector like this. And just do computer, or studio RGB to computer RGB. That fixes the colors and gives it more contrast. So now you're gonna want to go to file. Properties. Template. You're gonna want to choose. Oh god damn it! I already did this. I'm sorry. All right. File. Render as. I'm just gonna render it to my desktop. Whatever. Render. Test. Template. Choose Windows Media Video version 11. And template. I already have mine, but I'll show you guys what it is. Audio, quality, VBR, format, Windows 10 Professional, tributes, just keep it like that. Video, mode, quality, VBR, format, Windows Media Video 9, image size, we're going to change it to 1280 by 720, pixel aspect ratio 1, frame rate 29, quality, you're going to want to drag up to 100. Then you just want to go to project and change your video rendering quality to best. Hit OK, and that's it. 
And if you want to render your videos faster, so you don't have to wait quite as long, hit Control Alt Delete. Start Task Manager. Go over to from Application. Go over to Processes. You're gonna to want to scroll down, find Vegas, go to Set Priority, and change it from Normal to High. So, because these settings can take a really long time to render. Especially because I have a 20 minute video in here right now, this could take a few hours to fully render. So, that's it. If you guys have any questions or any comments on these settings, go on and post a comment. Please like and subscribe because it really helps me out and makes me want to produce more videos. So, thanks for watching and I hope you like these settings because they're really good. Peace.